smart digital assistants have come a long way. Once pricey novelties, today they're almost home essentials. They're evolving to be not just smart speakers, but home automation bots, premium level audio devices, and they blend a lot better into your home decor. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and Amazon has launched its newest Echo device, the Amazon Echo 4th Generation. I received both the full-sized 4th Generation Amazon Echo and the smaller 4th Generation Amazon Echo Dot with Clock. These iterations have some changes over previous Echo devices, so in this review I will look at what's new and what it's like using one of these devices. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and give me a sub, because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. By now you know that an Echo and the smaller version called Dot are smart speakers that can control your smart home gadgets like lights, thermostats, and TVs. Plus they also have digital butlering capabilities like answering your questions, setting timers and alarms, doing math and conversion, and delivering news, weather, traffic, and more to your speaker just by you asking. You can even place Amazon.ca orders. By the way, the device itself is simply called the Echo, while the other version goes by Dot, or there's also Studio and Show and a couple of others. Alexa is the name of the digital assistant who's at your service 24-7. The most noticeable difference in the new Echo versus the older models is the new spherical design. It's now a little more sculptural and with a fabric wrap around most of the outside it looks a little softer and maybe a bit less techy. An LED light ring around the base of the sphere reflects off surfaces to add to its cool modern look. And the controls are now more visible across the top. The Echo Dot with Clock is of course smaller and it adds in that LED clock under the fabric wrap. The other new element in the Echo is improved speaker quality and audio performance. We'll get to how it sounds in a sec, but the speaker is Dolby Audio compatible with a 3-inch woofer and dual front-firing 20mm tweeters. These tech specs are almost identical to the third generation Echo, except the new one adds that second tweeter. There is also a new temperature sensor in this unit. Getting your Echo devices set up is super easy. Plug it in and wait for it to power up. Once that's done, log into or sign up for an account in the Alexa app and your Echo will do the rest, popping the setup sequence for you into the app. I was ready to go almost instantly. The most current Echo devices in my home are the second generation Echo Plus and the Echo Studio. The older Echo Plus speaker quality was really just fine for a speaker this size, but I know Amazon has made some improvements since that was released a few years ago. The Echo Studio, by comparison, is a big premium speaker that sounds awesome, so I'm interested to see where the fourth generation Echo fits in between them. I played a variety of content on the all-new Amazon Echo 4th generation speaker. Primarily, I hooked it up to an Amazon Fire TV Cube and used it as a TV speaker in my kitchen. I also used it to play music and podcasts plus audiobooks. The all-new Amazon Echo 4th Gen definitely sounds better than my old Echo Plus. It's crisper and clearer and sounds less tinny and less small. The Echo gives good, clear dialogue and integrates seamlessly, by the way, with my new TV. When it comes to music, the overall sound quality and the bass is really surprisingly great. New to this device, as far as I can tell, is a built-in temperature sensor. Amazon says this is so you can create temperature-related routines. You can also just get a temperature reading by asking A, what is the temperature in here? When it comes to those routines around the temperature sensor, they do seem kind of disappointing. I was kind of hoping I could set the Echo to text or email me if the temperature in my house ever dropped below a certain level, so that if my furnace ever shut off in the winter, I could keep everything from freezing. But the closest I could get inside the app was to have Alexa send me a notification inside the Alexa app. If you're looking for details on how to set up these temperature features, you can head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've posted instructions. And if you're new to these devices or just need a refresher on what you can do with an Echo, here goes. These devices will use your voice and can respond to requests like playing music, whether you want to ask for an artist, a genre, or a specific song or an album, she can find it. Turn you can adjust the volume lamp. up or down, control your smart home devices like thermostats okay. and smart lights. It is a scenario American voters were told to brace for. You can get current news, weather, and traffic information. You can convert recipe or measurements. You can also set timers or alarms. 
You can even make audio phone calls via these devices, and you can use multiple Echo devices as an intercom system between other devices in your house. The all-new Echo, like the previous Echo Plus, has a built-in smart home hub. That means that for some gadgets, you don't need an extra hub or extra bridge. With the Echo Home Hub, you can connect compatible Zigbee smart devices. Things like the Ring smart lighting products, for example. Ordinarily, these actually need a separate Ring Hub, but you can use these to connect to your Ring lights to get voice control over them. You can also get voice control over your lights, locks, and other sensors. If you want to, you can create a stereo pair with two Echo devices. This is a great way to get more room-filling stereo sound into your space. I've got full instructions, by the way, at techgadgetscanada.com for how to do that. If you want to create what's called an Alexa home theater, where you can use one of your Echoes as a speaker for your TV, if you're using a Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube, you can do that as well. I've found it super helpful to have an Echo as a TV speaker on my older kitchen setup. Paired with a Fire TV Cube, the Echo gives me way better sound than the tinny TV speaker. And the Fire TV Cube, by the way, lets me make the older, dumber TV that I have in the kitchen fully smart. Again, instructions on how to do this stuff specifically can be found uh, here on the channel. I'll make sure they're linked up, but they're also available at techgadgetscanada.com. Amazon's Echo Dot, in this case the with clock version, is a compact mini version of the Echo. It does all the same smart home and digital assistant things as the Echo. The major differences are that the Dot has that a digital LED display the and the speaker is smaller like and less powerful. The Dot with clock has a single 41mm 1.6 inch speaker only. But older versions of the Echo Dots have been understandably less high fidelity than their larger Echo counterparts. This version of the Dot with Clock sounds about the same as the previous Dot. It's not as powerful as a full-sized Echo, obviously, and there's a little less detail in the audio overall. The Echo Dot, for me, is kind of designed to be a bit of a bridge device. Um, you would add it somewhere you might need digital assistant smarts in particular, or have uh, very limited space. For me, it's not really meant to be a high quality speaker. Uh, a couple other points on the clock. You can see the LED clock uh, face on the front there. You can actually adjust the clock's brightness too. If it's too bright while you're trying to sleep, you can turn it down. Similarly, if you can't see it in the dark, crank it right up. For me, this speaker sounds good, and it does seem maybe a little less thin sounding than the original Dot. It gets good and loud. If anything is missing, I'd say it's the bass. It's more of a buzz than a bassy rumble or resonance. It's not terrible though, and I'd say most folks probably wouldn't mind the overall sound quality of the Echo Dot with clock. Overall, I can definitely say that I like the Amazon Echo devices. They're easy to set up and to use, and they connect to a legion of smart home gadgetry. They work great as speakers for music or for podcast listening. I wouldn't say this iteration in particular is worth upgrading to if you already have, say, a third generation Echo. For me, there's just not enough in these devices that is brand new or that's better, in my opinion, to justify that upgrade. The biggest change is really in the looks. But if you are looking to upgrade from something like an older Echo Dot or to start with a voice digital assistant, these are a great entry point. The Echo is great for larger rooms and for people looking for a bit more in the audio quality department. While the Dot with Clock is just as useful uh, as the Echo, it's got all those same smart home features, but it's got that more compact profile and the clock on the front, which makes it great for a bedside table alarm clock. Either way, I like these Echo devices and I can definitely recommend them for your smart home. The Amazon Echo 4th Generation sells for about $129, and the Amazon Echo Dot with Clock 4th Generation sells for about $69. Not surprisingly, you can get them both from Amazon or Best Buy. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I talked about, or check out some of those how-to instructions, head over to techgadgetscanada.com. I've got full write-ups posted there, and you can of course ask me any questions you have about these devices, either there on the blog, or as always, here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.